In this tutorial, we are going to explain how to correctly clean, disinfect and sterilize Cyacom surgical material. Before starting, it is essential to keep ourselves properly to carry out the whole process with gloves and masks. The cleaning of the surgical materials consists of two different phases. Firstly, the cleaning of the box and secondly, the cleaning of the surgical material. Therefore, the first step is to completely disassemble the surgical boxes. The cover and the tray of the box are separated from the tools and drills. The ratchets must also be disassembled in order to be able to clean them properly. In addition, we must separate the components of the box according to the material of manufacture. On one side, we will have the components made of steel and on the other side, those made of titanium. Next, to prevent the different materials from interacting with each other and causing oxidation, they are immersed separately. Each of the groups of components in a different disinfectant cleaning product for dental instruments. Rinse the material with plenty of water after the time indicated by the manufacturer of the cleaning product. Continue the cleaning process with the cover and the box, carefully washing up the plastic material with a sponge and a neutral soap. In order to clean the silicone parts properly, we use a cannula cleaner. Then, rinse it with plenty of water so that no soap residue remains. Finally, we remove biological remains that may still be left with a neutral soap and non-metallic brush. Before finishing the cleaning process, we visually check that all the surgical material is clean and, if necessary, repeat the process. Once we've checked that all the material has been properly cleaned, we continue with the disinfection process. If we have ultrasound equipment for disinfection, we'll use the disinfectant product recommended by the manufacturer and we will always follow the instructions for use. Finally, we proceed to dry carefully all the surgical material, either with a cloth that does not release fibers or any cellulose paper. If possible, the best option to guarantee a good drying of all the material is to use a compressed air gun. Before finishing the cleaning and disinfection processes, we shall carry out a visual inspection to check that there are no traces of organic matter or rust on any of the parts, and that all the material has been completely dried. If this is not the case, the cleaning process should be repeated. If any rust remains are found on any of the parts, a steel brush should be used to remove them. Once all the material has been perfectly clean and dry, we proceed to resemble it in the surgical box. For the correct assembly of the ratchet, we must follow the steps indicated by the manufacturer. The point of the bolt must go with the point of the handle, and the arrow on the handle should connect with the arrow on the internal rod. You will hear a click to indicate that it has been connected correctly. Put the spring in place, and finally, we screw on the grip. Then, check it has been correctly assembled. Once all the components of the box have been placed in their corresponding positions, we back it for sterilization. We check that the back is in perfect condition and completely closed. Then, we introduce it into the outer plate to finish the sterilization of the surgical material. In Xyacom, we recommend the use of the 134 degree program. The Zyacom surgical equipment is now ready for use again. Keep products in sealed sterilization bags in a dry environment. 
the sterility cannot be guaranteed if the bag is open, damaged or wet. Don't use damaged or soiled material. Don't reuse single-use products. Never exceed the expiry date of sterilization bags. Respect the sterilizer phases. Don't clean, disinfect or sterilize instruments made of different materials together.